now let's see property number two. This is distributive property. So if you have u dot v plus w, it's just the same if you distribute it u dot v plus u dot w. Now let's see the third properties. Let's say you have m as your scalar. So this m here is factorized outside and then inside here is u dot v. This is just the same if you put m inside, so m u dot v, or it's just the same with u dot m v. Now let's see properties number four. Let's say you have two scalar m and n. So you can multiply them up like this, m u dot n v, or you can just take out m and n together. Okay, factorize it outside, and then inside here is just u dot v. Or you can multiply mn towards your u, after that you dot with v, or in other options, you can put u dot mn times vector v. Now let's demonstrate with question c here. Let's say the question asks you for 2v dot 3u. So we can do this according to what is given here. So 2v is just 2 multiplied v. So just take your v and multiply both i and j part with 2. So this is negative 12 and 16. Now let's find 3u. So just multiply 3 towards your vector u. So this is just minus 5 times 3, comma 1 times 3, which is negative 15, 3. Now since we have 2v and 3u, now let's do dot product. So take the i part, negative 12 times negative 15, add them up with 16 times 3. So just add them up, just solve this, this is 2, 2, 8. Another option we can solve this is by using this property here. We can factorize out the scalar and then solve the dot product inside the bracket here. So let's demo here, 2v dot 3u, we can just factorize the scalar out here. So 2 times 3 is equal to 6. And inside the bracket, you are just left with v dot u. We already have the answer for v dot u. This is it, 38. So just substitute it here. So 6 times 38, this is just 228. So this is your final answer. Now let's see property number 5. It said that v dot v is just the same with magnitude v squared. So let's demo here. Let's demo using this v here. So let's find v dot v. This is just negative 6 times negative 6 plus with 8 times 8. So the answer here is just 100. Now let's see the right hand side because we want to prove that left hand side is equal to right hand side. So now let's calculate magnitude v squared. So this is just a square root of negative 6 squared plus 8 squared and then put the square outside. So let's solve this. This is just square root of 100. So let's cancel out squared and square root here. So your answer is 100. Therefore, you can see that v dot v is just the same with magnitude v squared, which is 100. Now let us see property number 6, vector 0 dot u. It's just the same with vector u dot vector 0, which is just 0. So let us demo here. We have u already, negative 5, 1. And then we can have vector 0, which is just 0, 0. So let's try u dot vector 0. This is just negative 5 times 0 plus 1 times 0. So the answer is 0. Therefore, we have proven property number 6, which is u dot 0, or you can put it as 0 dot u. This is just equal to 0.